Recently, I did a retreat with a bunch of people, and we were going over the Feast of Unleavened Bread, Passover, Day of First Fruits, and where Jesus was in all of that, the time leading up to his death and resurrection. And so there were a lot of contemplations, a lot of really amazing revelations. If you haven't looked at the Easter retreat playlist and the calls that we did, I highly recommend it. So I just wanted to share some of the reflections that I got that I, some I shared on the call, some I didn't, but thought that you all could benefit from it. So I'll probably be sharing them over the next several weeks, maybe even months. Um, so FYI, so some of them you might recognize if you watch the calls. But one of the things that we contemplated, and to define contemplation, it's like putting ourselves in the stories that we're reading from the Bible and putting ourselves in the character sandals. What were they thinking? What were they feeling? What was going on in the environment? It's very much what the writers of The Chosen had to do to be able to write The Chosen. So we're doing that on our own to really get in the scene. And I highly recommend you do this too. Just as you're reading the Bible, try to put yourself in the character's shoes. And also throwing it out there, I'd really recommend you tell somebody about your experience after, like, as you do these things, because it just, I notice that when I talk about it with somebody, it brings out so much more of what I got out of it and, and even just more revelations than I experienced in the moment just by talking about it. So FYI, I highly recommend doing that. And actually, okay, so that's just a good lesson on contemplations generally. So I think I'll actually start another video to talk about some of the things that I got from doing contemplations. There you go.